Uh, dear colleagues, it's already afternoon and I will try to be as, 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 as prompt as, as possible. So, these are the uh, short slides of products and uh, actually whom we are producing them for. You have already seen from Dudley uh, uh, yesterday what is the list of products that we are supposed to produce. And uh, <clears throat> this is the final product that uh, is supposed to be done in let's say three four months after you visited country first time and i have to specify that you will be supposed to go to the country probably at least twice first for the initial mission when you gather the data you meet with different stakeholders and uh, normally you produce almost nothing at the end of this week but ideally you, you produce some powerpoint slides and i will talk a bit uh, a bit in details on that but when you do the case in three, four months, uh, this is the list of uh, things that we need to bring to the country. And it's full report, including institutional context analysis in English and the, at the government language. And uh, this is the best example uh, already with a nice layout for the Kyrgyzstan, which was uh, presented and launched in Bishkek just uh, uh, two days ago. And we definitely will share with you, I think we already shared with you a link, but uh, we will, after the uh, after this training, we will put it in one email and we'll share with you all the information. So you will definitely have links to, to the Kyrgyzstan report and other work that has been done in Vietnam, in Mongolia, in Barbados. So you will see different, uh, different uh, reports that have already been developed. Then uh, the executive summary of the report, which normally is part of the report, this is just uh, one or two pages to summarize the results, and normally it's on the first or second page of the report. PowerPoint presentation for the Ministry of Health that uh, you will be supposed to uh, deliver at the launch of the report, but also this presentation should uh, should stay with the Ministry of Health and other ministries in order for them to use it uh, in sake of dealing with the Ministry of Finance, with the parliamentarians and with all other non-health uh, stakeholders with whom they will be dealing after, after, the, after the presentation of the forum. Excel-based model that incorporates uh, one health tool for the data. Infographic and other advocacy materials that illustrate the main findings of the, of the report and uh, tailored support on uh, communication. Good news is that you will be expected not to deliver on all of these issues. So, but on these red ones, you definitely have a big responsibility and some, some will be in full uh, on your shoulders, some will be the kind of uh, mixed uh, task and everybody will be involved, but you will be definitely expected to lead on these ones in red. It's report and it's executive summary, PowerPoint presentation and of course Excel-based uh, model. So full report, I already, uh, I already demonstrated to you the uh, Kyrgyzstan one. On this slide you can see a couple of examples. One is from Barbados, another one from uh, Vietnam, and it's still not finalized, but it is, this is the latest version. But what, uh, what our experience shows that the, probably the, the most optimal uh, structure of the report is to have these uh, six um, components. It's executive summary, introduction, uh, description of methods, uh, results, conclusions or recommendations and a list of references. Of course, it, uh, the, the report might be, might be bigger. If you have some additional information, you can highlight more uh, on uh, NCD epidemiology. If you have uh, data, data available, if you have maybe national epidemiologists who are joining the team. But these six are the key, uh, key issues that, uh, that are must to be uh, captured in the report. PowerPoint presentation, uh, we will also share with you the, the template of the presentation, uh, but uh, it should definitely speak about NCDs in country, uh, epidemiology, what is an NCD investment case, it should describe what it is, explain where data come from, uh, explain the methodology, 
highlight the economic burden of NCDs, so these are already findings that you will have in hand. Uh, explain the structure of NCD building in country, uh, provide some uh, economic information about the intervention and how much do they, uh, do they cost. Explain what the One Health tool is. Provide estimation on health benefits uh, of, from the uh, particular policy intervention. Uh, highlight the return on investment and rates that you will uh, you, you will find. Uh, and provide summary of findings, but also highlight how to implement the NCD investment case and uh, explain the broader social economic implications of the findings of the report. The last two uh, bullet points is definitely for our UNZP colleagues and for, 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 for us to do, but all those uh, above uh, will be ex expected to be done by, by, by you if you go to the, to the mission. And here I want to say that this presentation, this is the structure of the final presentation, so you will definitely have plenty of time to do that. But when you go to the country first time for initial mission, you will probably come there by on, on, on Sunday, and on Monday you will meet with the somebody from the Ministry of Health, and you will meet with the uh, people from the uh, resident WHO, maybe other UN agencies, then you will go to the Bureau of Statistics, then you will meet with the Ministry of Labor, when you will meet with some academicians identified uh, by, by our WHO colleagues on, on the ground. And during three, four days, you will be meeting with different people to better understand uh, where to get the best information from. And on the last day, probably Thursday or Friday, you will be supposed to present preliminary results. Sometimes we already can calculate preliminary burden of NCD. So like in Kyrgyzstan, uh, on the fifth day, we, 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 we found that it was 4.2% of GDP, the, the cost of NCD epidemic there. Uh, uh, and in one year, we, we, we corrected this number for, to 3.9, but anyway, whatever you have by the end of the first week, it would be good to put in the presentation and to show. At least you can expl explain to the Minister of Health or whoever you present to what you did, did during this week. You can ex explain that you, you did use this One Health tool, you collected information from these people. Uh, the, the, you, you can explain what are your plans to analyze this information and what will be the uh, final product when you will get back to the country in three, four, or five months. Excel-based model and Anna already uh, has explained in, and taught in details what it is. So it's definitely you will be expected to to have it as a package. Again, when you it will be the final case. So in, in some months after you visit the country first time. And here the, uh, the uh, there are advocacy materials and uh, <clears throat> the investment case itself is a, is, is actually the tool. So. It's very important how it is done, but it's even more important how the investment case is used in the country, because we, 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 we need always to keep in mind that uh, we want to make a shift in national policies. We want, to, we want the Ministry of Health to prioritize NCDs into their agenda. We want uh, different sectors to prioritize NCDs onto their agenda, and to put actually NCDs onto their agenda. We want Ministry of Finance recognize NCDs as a threat to the social economic development of the country and put NCDs onto their agenda and to consider NCDs as a good investment and to start uh, uh, allocating more funds to the implementation of the NCD program. So <clears throat> we want, of course, Parliament to consider NCDs as a serious issue. We want Parliament to uh, focus more on uh, implementation of the framework convention and make more stricter regulation on tobacco use, alcohol use, uh, healthy diets, and so on and so forth. So actually, this is the main outputs of all, of, of all this exercise. So, and the investment case here is a tool which we can use in this way or the other way. And that's why it's very important to, produce, to, to present the results in the right way in order to sensitize right people in the government, in the parliament, in the civil society, in the private sector to, uh, to, 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 uh, to, the, to make a follow-up follow to this investment case. So 
these are the infographics. You will not uh, be supposed to do that. We, we, we are doing that, but we will definitely require all the data uh, from your end. And normally we do infographics, and uh, this early this week in Bishkek, it was very nicely uh, done in that way. So we had infographics on A4. It actually summarizes it summarizes this report on, 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 the, on the one page. We did also the roll-ups. So the same infographic was a huge, huge roll-up in English and Russian, which now will be staying, Russian will be staying in the Ministry of Health, English one will be staying in the uh, UN House in Bishkek and will remind on a daily basis a minister and UN resident coordinator and our colleagues from different UN agencies, what are NCDs in country and, uh, and uh, hopefully they will they will uh, get used to the idea that NCD should be one of their top three or five priorities, I hope. I already mentioned that uh, it's important to know who, who, are, who are producing this res uh, these uh, products for and uh, <clears throat> This is, the list is very long because it's all the government ministries. It's not only the Ministry of Health. <laughs> Ministry of Health is usually is a, 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 is an entry point for us. We uh, work through them, but we need to reach to a whole of government, including the highest level. So you can see here a couple of pictures. This is this is a guy in white uh, shirt. It's the president of Sri Lanka. On the top, you see Nick meeting with the uh, Prime Minister of uh, Bhutan. And these other two pictures, it's the uh, forum in Bishkek where we presented the results and in the chap in the middle, it's the Minister of Health. So you will be definitely uh, dealing with uh, different, uh, different uh, people in the government at the, of, of the different level and sometimes this will be very, very high level people. Uh, across the government, we definitely need to uh, try address, and uh, we always ask our WHO colleagues on the ground to sensitize and invite and arrange meetings for you with uh, people from education sector, labor, finance, economy, ministries of tax, uh, from a trade and industry, food and agriculture, information and communication, city planning, with municipal authorities and city mayors, with transport sector, justice. Of course, with the parliament, but also trade unions, chambers of commerce, non-governmental organizations, civil society organization, academicians, private sector, and of course with the uh, local uh, UN family. And sometimes it's four agencies, sometimes it's 15 UN agencies. In order to better understand uh, how uh, how uh, we work across sectors. I actually encourage you to read these materials. We call it uh, sector briefs, what government ministries need to know about NCDs. Because this, uh, this is a direct link with, N with NCD investment case. Because this is the instrument how to actually use the investment case and how how non-health ministries can use the investment case. You can find there some posters that summarize this, uh, these policy briefs and they are developed currently for seven different sectors like trade, like uh, labor, like uh, finance, like taxation and ministries of revenues for the, for the heads of states and governments. And we are uh, developing now seven, seven other uh, for transport, for parliamentarians, uh, for ministries of youth, ministries of environment. So we will definitely keep you up to date on that. And in the, our uh, final email, we will share with you the links to these materials. They are available in all, uh, all uh, six UN languages. So <clears throat> it would be great if you could familiarize yourself because this will provide you with kind of bigger, bigger picture. Where, where we will go after you develop this investment case, where we, we are trying to reach. And of course, you need to be ready to deal with the uh, media, because both in, uh, in, the, in your initial uh, mission and, and, and the mission when you present the results, you will be dealing with the journalists. Sometimes it's radio, sometimes it's television, sometimes it's just 
newspaper uh, journalists when you provide some uh, some remarks and uh, you, you can see that Nick is normally super <coughs> superstar in countries he always surrounded by journalists but also we will expect you <laughs> we also we will expect you to provide some some inputs to the web stories because each each and every mission it ends up with a web story which we publish. It's on either on the WHO Euro website or the or, or on the website of the uh, task force on UNDP website. So it's just a piece, of maybe two, three pages explaining what the mission was about, whom you met, what you what you did, what are your preliminary findings, and what are your next plans uh, to work with. And here you also see some, some, some media coverage. This is Barbados Today uh, highlights how the Minister of Health of Barbados announces uh, the results of the investment case at the meet meeting with the cabinet. So he explains that this costs <coughs> 200 million Barbadian dollars and actually sensitizes uh, the cabinet to focus on, on the prevention measures. So thanks. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to reply. <laughs>